Hello everybody and welcome back to Gamer Kids 3. Today I'll be showing you the best way, in my opinion, to survive your first day in Minecraft. For the sake of the video, I made a world, new world and did my first day. Alright, I did not spawn in the best place for my strategy. Or the best place at all. Gosh. I have stone around me and absolutely... That is really unlucky. I got really unlucky here. Hold up. I think I can fix this. So if you get really unlucky when you spawn in, you want to look for a place. Probably, tech, probably you probably want to look for a place that has grass. That'd be awesome. But if you don't have that, you just need a place with trees. For my strategy, that's all you need. All right, this is way awesome. And just to be clear, I spawned in the worst place possible and I found this. There's no cheating involved here. This is pure luck, pure chance. All right, I found a village, but we're gonna do this like you don't have a village. So I just want this area and as much as it pains me, I won't touch the village. So that I can show the best way to survive without having whole village. We'll probably actually, we'll probably need the trees here. Yeah, we're gonna need the trees here. But I won't grab anything that's actually inside the houses or anything. All right, so when you get into the world, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna find a place that has a tree. It doesn't have to be a wooded area. Preferably, in my opinion, you want grassy, like um, a place where like, Yeah, preferably you want this. Grassy and like hilly if you can find it. My strategy will work basically everywhere as long as you don't spawn in top of a mountain. And if there's a tree on top of the mountain, it'll probably still work there anyway. Which is awesome. Mine's like, you don't really need to spawn in a particular place. Like there's a place that you don't need to spawn, like, that you need not to spawn, like a stony place. But if you had wood or trees there, then it'd actually be fine to spawn there. Like, if I had trees in that other place, even though it was completely covered in snow, I would have been all good, but I didn't. I did not want an axe. That was a screw-up. Well, that's no good. But I can still grab everything I need. Now, you probably just need these three to start out. It can be really hard to make a house because the, the day is already half gone, but mobs will come out at night and you will not be prepared. So it can be super hard to make a house on your first day. This, that's why I employ this strategy. All you need to do is find a mountain or something and dig into it. If you don't have a mountain, you can just dig into the ground. Dig into a place so that you don't have to build your own house. You just have to dig out your own house. It is far, far faster. Now, I got lucky here, and I have coal here. And you kind of need, you need tor torches on your first day. Some way to make torches. And if you don't find, don't go looking for coal, right? If there's trees nearby, go find a tree. And because you're digging into the mountain, you'll already ha probably have enough stone to make a furnace, right? So make your furnace and like, I don't know, smelt the wood. Because if you put a wood on the top and something to smelt it, it turns into charcoal, which you can also make torches with. So don't go looking for coal. You probably want to make charcoal because then you aren't wasting any of your time, really. Because you won't be wasting your time searching for coal. I got lucky and I found coal. But I will show you how to make charcoal anyway. Because I want to show you how to do it in like the worst... If you're in the worst possible conditions and you don't find coal and you can't find stuff you need, I want. And that's why I didn't use the village. Because I feel like that'd be kind of cheaty. It wouldn't be a good show of how to survive your first day if I did that. Alright, you don't need a big house. I'm pretty sure you could handle four bricks. I mean, like, four squares. Or four
four square square would be absolutely fine. All right. So, like I said, you want torches. So you want to make your essentials first, right? So, what you should get in the first day, or what you should make your goal toward, because all you really need is a shelter in the first day. But what you should be trying to get in the first day, you probably shouldn't go mining in the first day. What you should be trying to get in the first day is your basic materials. So, wooden materials, like wooden, like, um, the, wo the wooden thing, so like wooden of all this stuff. Wooden, a hoe, a shovel, a sword, an axe, and a pickaxe. And it's fine if you don't get all of that. Your priorities are probably torches, shelter, pickaxe. That's probably like all you need. And then, if you have time, you want a door, obviously. But if you don't have a door, as long as you have torches, that's fine. You can just close it up. So that you don't really even really need to fit, focus on the door. Keep your priorities straight. But I will show you, hold up, I need to find another tree. But I will show you how to make charcoal because you don't want to go looking for coal because you might spend your whole day looking for coal and then do nothing else. And there's an easier way to do it. So we're gonna fig I'm gonna show you the easiest way to get, get stuff done. And yes, I am technically using the village here, but I'm using it for its tree. So I'm not counting that. Also, on the first day you probably want to get food. So just kill whatever whatever's in your path. Yep, it's here. All right, so this is how you make charcoal, right? You put this in the top and you put something you can burn in the bottom. For me, it's probably gonna be coal because... I, yeah, it's starting to get into evening and I wanna finish this up pretty quick. So it's probably just gonna be coal for me. I'm doing this in case you don't have coal so you could probably smelt like your, like if you have extra wood and things, you can smelt those to get what you need. And you probably also want to use your smelting to get like, say, to cook your food so that it's more efficient to eat. But all right, now you need torches. I technically didn't use my charcoal for that, but I could have, right? Put a torch on the outside so that no, no mobs spawn immediately outside. And you probably just need, probably just put the rest of your torches inside. I don't know like what block radius you need to put them in. I'm just going to put it in all of them. So yeah, that's how you survive your first day. Like I said, it's probably a bad idea to go mining on your first day because you could get killed kind of easily. Because even if you have a stone sword, it's pretty easy to die in the mines and dying on your first day, it isn't preferable. You do all of this stuff and work on the first day you build a shelter so that you don't die on the first day. And some people there are just kind of like YOLO and they are really good and they can kill like all the mobs in the night and that's good for them. But if you're not that good at the game and even if you are, there's a chance you get killed trying to do that. So just wait out the night inside of your shelter. Oh, your shelter is lit. Anyway, so that is how to survive your first day in Minecraft. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button. Because then I will know that you want more in this kind of thing. And please comment below what you want me to do in Minecraft next. I can do mini games. I can make like um, uh, best houses to do when you're starting out in Minecraft thing. I mean,